Whoa! It's the Illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm here uh, on the PCH heading into town. I was listening to the uh, the Black Angels, man. That's been my my steez now for a while, and uh, I don't know. It, it triggers that psychedelic frequency within me, man. And so I was listening to listening to them and I just started thinking about stuff and I started thinking about I can only call it the OJ years now the younger crowd out there probably won't know what I'm talking about like per hand but there was a, a period of time in the early 90s when it was just all OJ Simpson man and uh, it's just a weird bookend and why it's psychedelic, I'll explain to this, is I was up at the Grateful Dead shows in Autzum Stadium in uh, Eugene, Oregon. It must have been 94-ish. I forget really when it all was. It's all blurred to me now, but I was up at Autzum Stadium. I remember Cracker was opening for the Grateful Dead. Now I dig Cracker. But opening for the dead, that's a that's a tough gig, man. Especially if you're Cracker. People were pretty bummed. I think Cracker got booed, if I recall. But anyway, that's another story. I do, this is part of the deal, though. I remember I was sitting under a giant banner under the P of Let Phil Sing ripping huge bong hits inside the show. I do recall that blatantly. And I also remember that security was eyeballing people from like the, uh, I don't know, the announcer's boxes in Awesome Stadium and like sending like security and just busting people. Dude, it was pretty epic. And uh, so anyway, back to OJ Simpson, right? So I'm at, we're up at the Eugene Oregon Dead shows and I don't, Remount recall, but all of a sudden, all that crazy stuff went down. The O.J. Simpson, his old killing his old lady, went down, and it was the big buzz in like the parking lot of the Dead Show because it was a, I think it was a camp out Dead Show where you could camp out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, it was the whole thing, and remember, this is pre cell phones. Pre-internet, yeah, yeah, the internet wasn't like it is now. Like, this was all just, like, radios and, and television type stuff. And it was the big buzz that this whole O.J. Simpson thing had gone down and everyone was crazy about it. I don't know, but I remember why I'm bringing it up is at that time of the period, I just released my WOW book and I was basically selling my books at any concert I would go to. And I never really like followed the dead or fish. It was just like, if they were in my zone, I would go check them out. And you know, I happened to make myself available for them being in my zone at various parts of the country at various times, but I definitely wasn't a tour guy. So uh, anyway, so it's like this whole period of time from like Autumn Stadium when OJ gets busted for like doing in his old lady to, oh, I just missed where I was wanting to go, to, uh, nope, here I am, to uh, when he gets acquitted. And when he gets acquitted, I'm up at Seattle seeing fish at the, at the Seattle hockey rink or whatever it is, right by the space, you know, by the way, that was one of the best fish shows I ever been to, dude. That, wow, I had a collective holographic experience with the crowd on that one. <laughs> that was radical. I was with my boy, Zach, and Zach had this crazy hat, and he would throw it into the crowd, like just wing it into the crowd, and like, you know, five, five minutes later, 10 minutes later, the thing would just come sailing back and like land at his feet, and this... I'm not exaggerating. I don't really not into like exaggerating life because life's crazy enough. So this one time he launches it into the crowd 
and it comes sailing back and lands on his head, dude. Now, as you can guess, we were out of our minds on some uh, mind-altering enhancement products, and uh, yeah, it was pretty wild stuff. But anyway, so the first night went down at, up at the uh, hockey rink up there, and then we woke up, man, we were all tore up. We were staying in this hotel room, and uh, I think it was after the night we ran into Cliff, who was from the spaceship. We ran into this alien Cliff. I have a picture of him, too. We ran into this dude Cliff, this... My bro, Zach, tells the story way better, but he was from a spaceship, and we helped him find his spaceship that night. He had nothing to do with the fish scene. He was just this old dude wandering around the streets of Seattle, and we were able to assist him with our psychedelic minds. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so we get up the next morning, and it's the morning OJ gets acquitted, right? And all we catch on the TV is OJ's mom with a cocktail. And me and my boy, Zach, we look at each other and we go, it's time to go to the liquor store. And so we went and we pretty much tore it apart and went for it. And I remember that night driving home and the V and Todd Todd Blossom's VW bus tripping so gnarly, and I was tripping, and the white lines, you know, on the side of the highway, I would be staring at them, and they, you know, they would diverge, and I would freak every time we came to like where there was an off ramp because I was like, how is this? This dude who was driving was on another planet more than I was, dude. And I was like, how is this dude pulling it off? And I remember the whole drive from Seattle back to Portland where I was living at the time. All I wanted to do was say, stop the car. Let me out. I will, I will gladly walk home from here because I was so getting freaked out about the whole driving thing. It was so gnarly, dude. And, uh... Yeah, we got home safely. I think there's like an after story with me and Zach hanging out in front of a plaid pantry waiting for it to open, but that might have been a different adventure. But anyway, I was just thinking about how this whole like psychedelic window of mine was really bookmarked by like O.J. Simpson killing his old lady. God, that's so twisted, man. And O.J. Simpson getting acquitted for killing his old, old lady. I don't know which is more twisted, the incompetence of the prosecution or the weirdness of the whole circumstance, but I do remember that it was a rad time to be like a psychedelic road tripping warrior. Yeah. I don't really know what the point of the story was, except that I was listening to Black Angels and it got to me to thinking about psychedelics. And that was like a big time of that period was in there in the weirdness. Anyway, I got to go buy some pens right now.